Welcome to another PMOS League. This time I will be playing the UB Stefano deck and I will give you a short overview about the deck and what makes it cool and different from the other Stefano builds. So basically it's a mono blue Stifle note deck in the core. It has a splash for the card Endurus to secure the combo against opposing decks and uh, one Psychotoc which is your um, threat number five and with the one in the sideboard uh, threat number six and this Psychotoc in the deck is pretty busted it will win you many games it will uh, help you uh, fight aggro decks and to play pressure to the board and you will find yourself uh, often that you get one swing in with the Dreadnought and your opponent is able to remove it and then the Psychotalk is left to get in the last damage and keep in mind that there will be times where you uh, attack with the Psychotalk make it like 12-12 and in the second main you just play the Phyrexian Dreadnought sacrifice the Psychotalk and this stays around and the other broken card in this deck is the Limbrus Vault. It uh, does not seem so strong if you read it, because it uh, seems like it would be card disadvantage, what it is. But if you have some play with this deck, you will see how broken this card is. Because you can make so great piles, and for like Five life at maximum you're finding uh, the whole combination of your deck and you can make piles like gash on top foil in the pile a durus plus a combination of vision charm and frex and red note and yeah this is one of the faster builds and therefore we are playing for lotus petal and um, besides that you have just one boomerang to bounce annoying cards like humility or meddling mage and one counter spell so this is like a, a combo deck in this kind of build and from the sideboard you have the ability to play engineer plague smother and the parish which is pretty strong and even if the cards are expensive with three mana, you have the ability to put them out early due to the Lotus Petals. And because you have so many cantrips and the Lindwolds Vault, you will be able to find your sideboard cards better. So, welcome to the first round of the PMOS League. I am playing UB Stifling Out and... Yeah... It's not very good. I think we can mulligan this. This is much worse. Yes, this is first send in worse. But let's keep this. Uh, ship a delta, ship another delta. Cyberpunk. Uh, might be on the blue-green survival madness deck, which he, he is famous for, I think. You do not have to take many mulligans with UB Stifling out, but sometimes it's just the constellation of the bad cards, which give you a hard time, but nothing lot lost at this point. Uh, Days is fine. We need a, a direction piece for the Dreadnought, like Stifle or the Charm. That's nothing. Any order. Uh, I think if I click yes, it's a shuffle, I hope. It's not. Or is it... I don't know what to think about this. 
Yeah, it was not the shuffle. So do I have to click no for shuffle? This was weird. Uh, so let's go for this. Let's play the pedal so that we can pay a daze. And we won't go for the gush here. Because we want to have gush plus land drop. And he might have some counter going on there. So this was too, so bad, why we did not shuffle here? Or was it just bad luck to have this? Okay, uh, float to blue, play gush. He can counter this, which would be okay. No big deal. So we just uh, play the island again and we are not uh, worse here than before but let's uh, cast the clues now yeah mana league mongrel is strong we need some interaction with these dreadnoughts I'm not sure I'm tending to scoop too early if I have a mulligan 5 because uh, the chances to win are so low that it's just a waste of time often. But here in this tournament I will try my best to win. Hopefully he plays the... Yeah, this was wild. Uh, If he played it before, he would get both, both effects, the pump effect and resolve the spell. But uh, I think he not he should know what I'm uh, playing. So if we get the Dreadnought down next turn, we should be in pretty good shape. But if he has any removal from that, Wasteland, Island, so just Wasteland left. Hopefully he plays something. Here, like a Aquamobile. I'm not exactly sure what to do. I think we go for the portent here. We have some more turns left, and this is fine. Uh, our play will be. So. Our play is um, so Lotus Petal, Vision Charm, and the Delta. Of course, we want the Delta and the Charm. I hope I did not shuffle now. Otherwise, I don't understand how the card works. Okay, I don't understand how important works because first time I clicked yes, it was like I drew the same cards. Now I click yes, I drew different cards. But maybe the first time it was just uh, RNG that I drew exactly the same cards. Otherwise, we would be in pretty great shape with. Yeah, but it's um, crazy. I don't know if you play Modo, but uh, you will lose many games due to the Modo interface. If we, if you did not have studied Modo for like 10 years, it's so unintuitive to play the whole uh, client.
So if we don't draw any land there, we still go for the Stifle Node. I hope he plays a mongrel or something like this. But uh, that would be nice. That's some of the bad draws. I hope I don't sex this immediately. Okay. Odd call to, to play mana leak on this. Because otherwise he could have gained a 2 for 1. But I'm not an expert with green blue madness. Yeah, that's. I need land now. Prison Charm is fine. Let's go for Dreadnought. I hope I get priority again. And face it out, but we have lost at this point. Of course, he can just go for six damage and we don't get him down. We could uh, counter this ability two times, but yeah, due to modo issues or me not knowing how modo works, we lost the game and it was pretty okay for Mulligan to five. So I was too pessimistic in the first place. But it's okay, I play Moro for like two weeks now. So I think there will be plenty of mistakes to made. So now he will attempt to bounce this and we will stifle just to scare him a bit. Underground River. We could. Get the survival here. Uh, here's Lisa, that's a problem. But otherwise, we would have won. Which is not bad. Maybe you can write it in the comments. Who's important? So, first important, I wanted to shuffle. I clicked yes and I drew exactly the same cards. Second portland, I did not want to shuffle, clicked yes and drew different cards. So let's see. So Psychotok is very good. So is Parish. Plague might be okay, but I'm not thrilled about it. We don't want to lose our main game plan too much. Um, petals are bad. One of the worst cards in the deck. You don't need these fast dreadnoughts often. Yeah, I think it's not a... I have to be fast, but I don't want to draw the petals in the later turns. Let's bring in like two plagues for one days and one duress because we need to handle the waterfront bouncer. Otherwise, we won't have any play. So, again, Mulligan. Unkeepable. That's keepable. And we should try to make it with Psychotalk. So let's ship the portent here. We are searching a third land and a gush. And Dreadnought is fine here, so we can play next turn, next turn the Dreadnought plus Vision Charm and Days. Uh, this is a tough question. 
I think I will go for Martin Stifle, which would be okay. I would go for the Swamp, because I have so many more ways to get island. Um, so let's start with the Dreadnought. And play the Vision Charm. I might have gone for the second island, because then um, the gush draw would have been better. But I don't think this will be around for a long time. Naturalize here. Um, we play hardcast. Uh, um, uh, return island days to pay his days. Maybe he has a foil. Okay, let's go to the draw. Yeah, here's the second island. Uh, we are going to attack for 12. And even if he can handle the dreadnought, we have a second talk, which can apply the last pressure for him. Okay, this was lucky. So, Duras might be okay. Maybe it's not the days on the draw. Yeah, on the draw, the Duras is much better. But maybe I will like. Boomerang should not be good. And take a third plague to make a more of controlly route. Winter Orb. Yeah, let's try it like this. This is uh, a good hand, but it's uh, we play it more on the slow side. Because if we go for turn two Dreadnought, he has so many interaction for it that we just make it clearly two for one. Uh, and this might lose us the game. We go for the island here, skip the turn. And I think this will be a game where I want to resolve my Psychotok first. There are even occasions where you make your Psychotok uh, so huge that... Oh, that's an interesting call, let us see. Um, just to sack it uh, for a Phyrexian Dreadnought after combat. Second island. So let's play the second island. If he has a daze, this play is bad. But if he does not have a daze, we uh, cast Vision Charm on this. And on our next upkeep, if he has removal, which he should have, uh, we phase out again. And if he plays more green creatures, we have the Parish for that. Ah, this is Psychotalk art is a crime compared to the original one. But it, uh, yeah, that's nice for us. So he should have something like Naturalize or Crumble. Squeeze gone. So this is, is a question now. We are going to play this and patch on a swamp and we are going to attack with the dreadnought because in the backswing we take like 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 which would be okay and next turn we have Parish plus Vision Charm and yeah. So if you don't have a tag and here's something like a uh, wonder, that's, that would be pretty bad for us. So let's let's try to win it like this. 
what would, would be good if he has a naturalize um, in the upkeep because I phase out then but then we will wipe his complete board and he will be in trouble ah I see maybe this is not as good as I thought because he can just <laughs> make those in different colors which will cost him some some cards in hand but we will see you don't should bring these in <laughs> I thought they stay green plus the other color but I think it's just the other color but good that we saw it now Gilded Drake, okay. Uh, I don't know exactly at which point. Maybe I can get both, so let's just resolve and with the trigger on stack, we are going to phase out. And now he's in blocking duty. I think it just gets sacked if, if there are no exchanges. And if he just throws too much inside these Mongols now, it would be easier to have a better parish. So he needs to block at least 5 damage. That's interesting. Okay. So he's willing to like discard everything he has to be on one point of life. Or oh, he has a crumble. No crumble. We have the possibility for a second dreadnought, but let's attack here first. And he might go to one if he discards everything. And then we play Parish, have Vision Charms up. So it's not the worst what happened here. And if he has another Gilded Drake, we can um, play Vision Charm again. Okay. This uh, won't win the game. But I think yeah, it, we could make this route. But then if he gets a Dreadnought, he can block. So we are going to uh, play Parish. Psychotop would be another line, but Parish is up. Now. And now we have the Vision Charm up. So he might have a Naturalize in our upkeep or Crumble, which can buy him a turn. But then we will get the Psychotop down. And yes, intense match.